Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Aries weekly guidance message for April 11th through April 17th. In this message, Aries, we are going to get an overview of the energy. We'll break down each individual day. I'm going to clarify throughout. I'll also pull a few cards at the end for advice. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's jump in and see what we can see for your upcoming energy here for this next week. Most important message here for Aries Spirit. What do my Aries friends need to see? feel here, Aries, you have found the one. The person that's being channeled here is a person who is in alignment. This is a deep connection, an intense connection. I feel here this is somebody who you've recently met, but you guys feel like you've known each other for some time. I do feel like this is headed towards a positive new beginning. Okay. What I will say here, Aries, is just be mindful that the past doesn't try to resurface, doesn't try to sabotage for you or your person, okay? So how do we avoid that? We just put all the cards on the table. If our person is aware of everything in our surrounding energy, then we don't have to worry that they're going to find something out. So let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles here for Monday's energy. Now, if you find the message is helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You guys are all amazing. Please clarify this Queen of Pentacles here for Aries energy for Monday. This is a person of independence. Okay, I honestly feel here, Aries, if this is not your energy, this is a person that's coming into your life. But I feel here this is being stable, being solid, being ready for a new beginning. Okay, that's exactly how I see this playing out. Coming together, working together, building, building together. Be mindful not to rush things. Even though you guys may feel like there is an intense connection here, it's going to be important not to rush this. Let's clarify the Four of Wands here for Tuesday's energy. This is definitely coming together very smoothly. I don't know why I feel like this is moving forward very fastly. So for a lot of you, you guys just met and you're already talking about marriage pretty much. That's how I see this playing out. Just be honest with yourself, okay? Just be mindful and don't try to rush things too quickly. You want to build a solid foundation, okay? You want to build a firm foundation for things to grow on. A lot of times when we rush in, we will rush right back out, okay? So just take your time. Try to take things very slow. But I feel here, Aries, somebody is trying to rush this. Someone is trying to rush this, and there may be a reason why. So what I see here, especially for Wednesday, clarifying the Queen of Wands, Page of Rods, Four of Cups, this could be a past energy coming back in to test this connection. But I just feel, Aries, that this is talking about putting on the brakes a little bit and not necessarily distancing yourself from this person. But just letting things transpire naturally. And maybe give it a little bit of time. You know, like give it three months or six months or something along those lines. You don't have to be rushing things in so quickly. 
there's just an energy of rush. I feel like fools are rushing in, okay? Only fools rush in. I'm sure you guys have seen that movie, but I feel here that that's, there's an important message here in that movie, so you may go watch that movie. Something may resonate, resonate with you, but I feel here an energy of just taking your time, okay, and waiting to see. You don't really know a person, I like to say, until they've lost internet. Once per a person has lost internet and cell phone service, you will get to know that true person for who they really are. I do feel like things are moving forward very quickly. It's a very positive energy, so don't question, okay? Don't look for things to be bad, because obviously if you look for something, then you're going to find something. But I feel here more Aries just focusing on the present energy and enjoying the time together. Okay, that alone is going to help to build the connection. So let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles here. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. What I see here, Aries, is a connection that's coming together. Now, I'm telling you to be patient, pause, because there's some things that may surface down the line that may cause some disruptions. I don't think that it's anything that you and this person can't overcome, but only time will tell. I definitely feel you're by the weekend. There is going to be something that arises that's going to help to change your perspective a little bit. However, there is still an intense connection here, Aries. You and this person still are deeply connected to one another, even if this is new, okay? Soul tie connections, yes, you guys have known each other for lifetimes if that's something that you believe in, right? A soul tie connection is simply one soul that is tied to another soul. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic partner either. However, I do feel like this is channeling a romantic partner coming into your life to build a solid foundation. Okay, make sure that you're building that. Now, like I said, by the weekend here, Aries, there is going to be something that is going to transpire that's going to help to broaden your perspective on this person and not be so looking at the situation with rose colored glasses because I do feel like this is a new honeymoon phase type energy. All I'm saying here Aries is get to know the person a little bit better before you rush things. Okay so let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. No extended version to the reading, guys. This message is strictly for YouTube. So Aries, take your time, okay? Work on building a solid foundation, okay? Look at the situation very practically, okay, very honestly, and try not to be too caught up in emotions with this person just yet. Now, you also want to enjoy, enjoy your time together. So what I would recommend, Aries, is this is potentially the one. But you guys have to build that solid foundation to get to that outcome that you desire. Just for most people, that Ten of Pentacles, that stable, solid foundation, long-term commitment type of energy. Take your time with this Aries um, and build this foundation because you guys are still getting to know one another and it's not necessarily meaning that this isn't going to build to what you expect it to, but I definitely feel a very new, new love interest, new connection, okay? Yes, there is an intense connection that is felt here, but try to focus on building, you know, building those memories and... Um, 
coming together. So let's pull a soul truth message, sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. Does my life have room for more pleasure and play? In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work. Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experience a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Today's soul action. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of any need to produce anything. Take time to just be with this person. Maybe um, taking some time on a trip or going out of town with one another will help you guys to experience a little bit more of one another. But there's definitely a need here to build a solid foundation in order to move forward to the next level. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.